five years after the pandemic began. Where does the COVID-19 stand today? The answer might surprise you. Recent data shows infection rates are climbing again globally, but the story is more complex than the headline suggests. A new variant named NB.1.8.1 has been identified as a contributing factor to rising infection rates in various regions. First detected in January 2025, this variant has rapidly spread over 22 plus countries, accounting for approximately 10 to 11% of sequenced global cases by mid-May or early June. We have currently many different variants globally spreading. and of those the dominant ones are two nb.1.8.1 and lp.8.1 the nb1 variant is the newest and fastest rising variant now accounting for 11% of global cases this variant has been driving surges in china us india and many other countries with experts predicting it could fuel summer cases also whereas the lp.8.1 previously the dominant variant globally though its circulation has been declining in recent months as nb.1.8.1 gains ground this variant shows increased transmissibility but generally causes milder symptoms in vaccinated individuals and we have less lethal variants like xfc and xec as the virus continues to adapt the nb.1.8.1 is the new threat nowadays First detected in early 2025, the NB.1.8.1 is a part of Omicron family and has recently been classified by the World Health Organization as a variant under monitoring. This label signals its growing spread and potential impact on public health. If we see genetically, it carries several mutations in the spike protein, the part of the virus that helps it to latch onto our cells. These changes could make it more infectious or help it partially evade immune system. Key spike proteins mutations include T22N, F59S, G184S, A435S, V445H and T478I. By mid-May 2025, the NB.1.8.1 accounted for over 10 to 11% of all sequenced cases worldwide. It has been detected in more than 22 countries including United States, United Kingdom, China, Thailand, India and many other countries. In India, NB.1.8.1 is among the variants contributing to a gradual rise in cases, especially in the states like Kerala, Maharashtra and Delhi. While the number of active cases remains relatively low, just over 4000 as of early June, the trend is being closely watched. Fortunately, the symptoms remain mild in most cases, particularly among vaccinated individuals. Common signs include fever, fatigue, sore throat, and mild respiratory symptoms, similar to what we have seen with earlier Omicron strains. And for this COVID-19 disease, we have separate playlist that includes top vaccines, Omicron variant, structure of SARS-CoV-2, how the virus invades our immune system and evades, and many other videos. If you want to watch these videos, these videos have been linked in the description. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.